どうしたの元気なさそうだね最近日本語が全然上達しないんだ日本語上手じゃんいや思うように話せないんだよねもうダメだ大丈夫大丈夫塵も積もれば山となるだよそれどういう意味少しずつ頑張っていけば願いは叶うという意味だよわかった頑張るよ Welcome to Learn Japanese Pod! Yay! Yay! Pachi, 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 pachi. This is the podcast that helps you to speak Japanese more naturally and fluently. I'm Alex, your host, and as always, I'm joined by the wonderful Ami Sensei. Konnichiwa! Konnichiwa! Ami Sensei is our very own Japanese teacher from the takoyaki filled city of Osaka. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ami Sensei, how's it going? <laughs> Good, good, good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. It's been a, been a while since I've spoken to you, so it's good to hang out with you again. Yeah, catch up. So, I, I was going to say to you, dear listener, perhaps the best way to listen to this podcast is by downloading our Learn Japanese Pod app, which is available for both Android and iPhone. We've got links for the app. At learnjapanesepod.com. That's learnjapanesepod.com. And the app gives you access to all the latest episodes, extra dialogue drills, and show notes, all in one easy to find place. So please check it out. That's the Learn Japanese Pod app. Now, Ami Sensei, what、Hi. are we studying today? Good question. So, in this podcast, we're going over common, useful Japanese phrases used to cheer up. And motivate your friends. Everyone struggles from time to time, and a word of encouragement can mean a lot to someone. Also, teamwork is a big thing in Japan. What you offer to the group is an important consideration. Whether it's a family gathering, a work meeting, or even hanging out with friends, making a positive contribution is important. And as part of that, motivating other people in your group is something that features a lot in Japanese. You'll find motivational phrases in manga, anime, J pop, and also in casual conversation with your friends. So that's what we're going to study today. Perhaps this podcast might be relevant to people who feel they're struggling a little with Japanese and maybe they're not making much progress. And of course, recent global events are probably stressing you out too, right? So、mm-hmm. please sit back, relax, enjoy the podcast. I hope, well, we hope、mm-hmm. this podcast will motivate you and you'll be able to learn how to motivate others in fluent natural Japanese. So let's have a listen again to today's main dialogue, and Ami Sensei and I will break it down for you. どうしたの元気なさそうだね。最近日本語が全然上達しないんだ。日本語上手じゃん。いや、思うように話せないんだよね。もうダメだ。大丈夫、大丈夫。塵も積もれば山となる、だよ。それ、どういう意味少しずつ頑張っていけば願いは叶うという意味だよ。わかった。頑張るよ。Okay, everyone. Did you understand the dialogue? Ami Sensei and I will break this down. So, the first thing. That was said was, どうしたの元気なさそうだね。元気なさそうだね。What, what does that mean, Ami Sensei? So, どうしたの is, what's wrong? What's the matter? Okay. 元気なさそうだね。So, you guys probably know this phrase or word, 元気 when you're asking somebody, how are you? 元気ですか元気 So, In this sentence, genki nasa so da ne. Nasa so means doesn't seem like there is.、Mm. So, what we're saying here is you don't seem genki. You don't seem fine. Do s t a no? Genki nasa so da ne. Could you also say, Ami sensei, genki nai ne? 
Is that another way you could say it? Sure, sure. Yeah. Inki nai ne. Yeah, so nasaso is kind of a little tricky, but you know, an easier way to say it is genki nai ne. It's like you not genki, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. But yeah, genki nasaso ne. You don't seem genki at all. You don't seem good at all. I guess if you're not like sure, like、yeah. you could be like,、uh, you don't seem genki. <laughs> right. Then、mm-hmm. what was the next sentence? Next sentence. 最近日本語が全然上達しないんだ。This is a common complaint of、uh, some of our <laughs> listeners to learn Japanese, or actually anyone who's learning a language, right?、Um, mm-hmm. What does that mean? So, 最近 is lately, 日本語 Japanese, が全然全然 means not at all. 上達 Jotatsu is,、uh, nanda. Jotatsu is improve. improve. Shinai in da. So shinai is not or won't do. So jotatsu shinai, jotatsu shinai in da, won't improve. So lately, my Japanese hasn't improved at all. And a little grammar point is at the end, shinai in da. Is just a common spoken way of saying that. So it, that comes from shinai no des. Is that right? Shinai no des. That's right. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. And basically, shinai no des means not or doesn't happen. But、mm-hmm. shinai no des just gets shortened to shinai in da. Very,、mm-hmm. very natural, very, very common way of saying something like that.、Mm-hmm. And then the next one was Nihongo, Jose ja. <laughs> so, what does that mean? <laughs> so, Nihongo Japanese, Jose good at or skilled. Jang, aren't you? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So, so, they're saying, so we're saying, but your Japanese is great. Yeah. And that Jang is, is that more like Tokyo dialect, right? Yes, because it comes from、uh, like Janai. Yeah. So, so、mm-hmm. it's,、um, I guess, if you said it quote unquote properly, Nihongo ga jōzu janai desu ka? Or jōzu janai? Yes.、Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, isn't your, Jap- your, your Japanese is good, isn't it? But、mm-hmm. instead of janai, you can just say jang. What,、right. what, how do you say that in Osaka dialect? <laughs> You'd say, Nihongo jōzu yang. <laughs> right. Ah,、uh, uh, Osaka, natsukashi na. Natsukashi de shou. Natsukashi. Osaka. Or we, we might say,、uh, Nihongo umai ya. <laughs> Nihongo umai ya. <laughs> That's great. <laughs>、yeah. And then、um, we're being very negative here because、yes. uh, say, Ya, omo yo ni hanase nai n da yo ne. Mo dame da. So, what does that mean? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sounds so like devastating. Yeah, so dramatic. <laughs> Drama queen. So dramatic.、Right? Yeah.、Um, so, ia is no or well. So, you can use it to mean either or both. It's a good, it's actually it's a really useful word.、Mm-hmm. I hear that all the time. So, someone、mm-hmm. makes a statement、mm-hmm. and then in relation to that statement, you said, no, it's, it's not that or no, that's not、mm-hmm. true. So,、right. it's like something, something, something. Yeah. I、so, said, no, 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 it's not that. And then.、Mm-hmm. A little long, but、um, we'll break it down. Omou is to think, the verb to think, or to、uh, even feel, right? So, omou yoni, yoni is the way、mm. uh, or like. So, omou yoni, thinking like. Hanase nai n da yo ne. Hanase nai means can't speak. Hanase nai n da yo ne. So again, it's like the jotatsu shi nai n da. Hanase nai n da yo ne. The yo ne emphasizes that you can't speak. Omo yo ni hanase nai n da yo ne. I can't speak the way I want to, the way, I, the way I'm thinking. This, this. Mo dame da. Mm hmm. So, so, I was just going to say this phrase is like really useful. So, omo yo ni hanase nai n da yo ne is I'm unable to express myself in Japanese the way I want to. That's what、mm-hmm. it really means. And、mm-hmm. actually,、um, you might want to put this in the positive. If, if someone says, you know, what, what are your Japanese study goals? And you might want to say, 
思うように話せたい。So I want to be able to express myself freely in Japanese.、Mm-hmm. Uh, again, a direct translation is I want to speak as I think.、Mm-hmm. But what it really means is I want to be able to speak freely in Japanese. Exactly. But this person is being a bit of a drama queen. I can't express myself. <laughs> And then, more dame da, very, very common phrase. What does that mean? More <laughs> dame da, like, it's over. <laughs> it's <laughs> or like, done. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. So, but it literally means more is already. Yeah.、Uh, it directly translates to already. Dame da, not good or、uh, bad or something like that. So, so basically, more dame da is like, oh, I'm, I'm so done for already or. This is it.、Uh, it's over. It's kind of like in one of those dramatic movies where、mm-hmm. the protagonist says, It is too late for me.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then、oh, they die. <laughs> right, yeah. So,、um, the person's being a bit of a drama queen. Like, no, I just can't express myself how I want to in Japanese. Oh, it's just, it's just no good. There's no point. And then <laughs> come your words of encouragement. Sure. I said, <laughs> so, you guys might have heard this one a lot. is, it's okay, it's all good. So, this is sort of an old saying.、Mm. So, chiri is dust, and mo is saying, Even.、Mm. Tsumoreba means pile up or、uh, you know, collect. Yama to naruyo. Yama is mountain. To naruyo. So to is sort of a particle that、uh, means, or in this case, it's saying yama to naruyo. It will become、uh, this. Thing. So it's going to be between that noun and then naruyo become.、Mm. So it will become like a mountain.、Mm. Chiri mo tsumoreba therefore means when the dust piles up, when the dust collects, it becomes a mountain. So what this phrase means is that you know, you can, you can try things little by little,、uh, you know, take baby steps, and eventually you'll reach your goal. If that makes sense. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. It's, it's a really good saying. And, you know, it's just saying, hey, this isn't a sprint, this is a marathon. Exactly. If you turn up every day and just do a little work every day, a little each day, yep. Eventually, you'll, you'll achieve your goals. It's,、yep. it's a really good phrase. <laughs> This makes me laugh because it, it reminds me of my grandmother who used to、mm-hmm. say to me, take care of the pennies and the pounds will take care of themselves. Oh, <laughs> so, cute. Very cute. Yeah. So、um, it's all about small, constant, repeated efforts. That's, that's really what it's all about.、Mm. But that's quite a difficult phrase, especially for a、yes. beginner in Japanese. Chirimo tsumoreba. Yamato Nario is pretty advanced, right? And so the other person says, Sore, do you m e a What does that mean? So, Sore is that. Do you, what kind of imi meaning? That, what kind of meaning? So, what does that mean? Sore, do you m e a And then you explain. Skoshi zutsu gambate ikeba, negai wa kanao to you imi da yo. Phew. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a long one. Yeah, right. <laughs>、uh, but basically, what we just explained, skoshi zutsu, a little at a time, gambatte, to do or work hard, ikeba, go or do, negai wa, negai is wish, wa, will, kanau, come true. To, there's that to again. You, Imi da yo. So to, and then you is,、uh, mm, I guess, such as.、Maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. Imi da yo. Imi is meaning da yo. It just emphasizes that. So, skoshi zutsu gambatte ikeba. Negai wa kanau to yu imi da yo. So, if you work at it little by little, 
you keep working hard, then your dream or wish will come true. And that's really useful. Gambate ike ba. So ike ba is a conditional if you go. So gambate iku, gambate ike ba. Mm -hmm. If you go and do your best, then you will realize your dreams. So, something like yes. that. So the, yeah, the ba is important here. As you said, Alex, ike ba means if. If you if do. You do. Mm -hmm. And then finally, I think we have uh, convinced our friend. <laughs> We've motivated our friend mm -hmm. and our friend says, Wakata, gambario. Wakata is, I got it. All right. Gambario. I'll do it. I'll work hard. That's really good. And that's it. That's, that's the dialogue. Now, if you're completely new to Japanese, this dialogue was probably pretty hard, right? But if you only remember one thing, Remember the verb gambatte or gambaru. So gambaru mm -hmm. means to do one's best and gambatte means do your best. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, again, if you only learn one thing, learn that. Why don't you listen to that one more time and hopefully it'll make more sense. So have a listen to the dialogue. Yeah. 思うように話せないんだよね。もうダメだ。大丈夫、大丈夫。塵も積もれば山となるだよ。それどういう意味？少しずつ頑張っていけば願いは叶うという意味だよ。分かった。頑張るよ。Okay, so hopefully you should have a good idea of how to motivate someone in a natural dialogue, in a natural conversation. But I just wanted to teach you some more motivational phrases in Japanese that are very common and that you hear all the time. So what's the first one, Ami-sensei? Ganbatte. Ganbatte. I think we already know what that means. And this comes yes. from the verb ganbaru, which means to do your best. Do your best, yeah. This is one of the most common phrases. You hear it in anime, you see mm -hmm. it in manga, you even hear it in songs. It's very, very, very Japanese, if I can mm -hmm. say that. Would you agree? Yeah, Sensei? and it, there's no like um, equivalent in English. Mm. Um, it literally means, uh, you know, do your best, but, you know, means like you can do it. So mm. you're, you're really motivating somebody by saying, gambatte. you got this. <laughs> In Japanese culture, I think there's a lot of um, emphasis on spirit. Yeah. Like konjo, on guts, on grit. And there's this idea in Japanese culture that, you know, things get, life can get tough. You can struggle in life, but you just have to have some grit, do your best and push on through. And it's a very, very Japanese concept. So you yes. hear that word all the time. Now, the, the second word in the list is maybe a little confusing to English speakers. And that is... <laughs> Faito. Faito. <laughs> Doesn't mean to fight. Yeah, it's, it's not what you might think it means. Mm -hmm. When I was in school as a kid and someone said fight, it was literally two kids were fighting. But <laughs> that's not what it means. No, it's, it's similar to gambatte. Mm. Um, but, you know, uh, I guess a little... Uh, no, I I would say it's 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 kind of like gambatte and faito. Uh, you know, to me it kind of um is telling somebody like you know just a little push a little more or like mm. you know um it's a little bit more maybe like a physical. Yeah, I um I was gonna say this is more for kind of sports or when sports someone's in the middle of some kind of sporting event or something and you're like fight or actually actually one time <laughs> um i was cycling and oh when was it this was like yeah yeah this was new year's eve and mm -hmm. i'd been at a party and it was like the early hours of the first of january yeah and i was cycling home from a party mm -hmm. it's like really early in the morning and the heavens opened and i I got caught in this massive downpour oh. and I was completely soaked through and I was uh -huh. so miserable oh, no. and I was cycling up this hill to, to get to my house and this uh -huh. guy, this, this drunk salaryman, 
was walking past with an umbrella and he just shouted out to me, Faito! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Faito! Kamarimas! I shouted back that's at so, him. That's so nice. It, it, it was such a nice thing to say. It was like, Faito! Yeah. <laughs> it was really cool. He, he probably meant it too. No, I think he did. I think I think he yeah. did, yeah. Um, I think we probably had a couple of beers, both of us, but... Uh, um i'm Just not a couple yeah i'm i'm not uh condoning cycling drunk it's not a good idea um <laughs> better than driving oh uh friends don't <laughs> let drunk friends drive so nope. um what's another phrase we could use to maybe cheer someone up amy sensei genki dashite. now what is what does that mean genki dashite. so we talked about genki genki at the beginning uh, or in the dialogue, but Genki again is um, is good spirit or uh, you know or energy positivity. So Genki dashite. So dashite is let out. So mm-hmm. Genki dashite means hey, you know, let me see your good spirit or hey, mm-hmm. feel better. Yeah, that's that. That's a good one. I hear I hear that quite a lot. Mm-hmm. Hope you feel better. Yeah. Uh, now another phrase you can use is when maybe someone's kind of stressing, stressing themselves mm-hmm. out, or maybe they've lost a bit of confidence. Mm-hmm. You could use this next phrase. Daijoubu, daijoubu, kimi nara dekiru yo. Daijoubu, daijoubu, kimi nara dekiru yo. So again, daijoubu is it's okay, it's all good, and a lot of times we repeat that word in a row. Daijoubu, daijoubu. Kimi nara dekiru yo. Kimi is you, nara. If it's you, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to say even you can do it because that sounds mm. kind of rude in English, right? Yeah. It's like, you know, you, it just, what it literally means is if it's you, it right. can be done. So it just, it Basic, just, yeah. it, it just means don't worry. Like you, you've got, you've got this. You can do this. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Kimi nara dekiru yo. Yeah. Um, if you if you translate that into English, it sounds a bit condescending. Even you can do it. <laughs> what do you mean, even me? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, right? So another another phrase is when you want someone to be more positive, you might say, mukki ni ne. How do you say it, Ami-sensei? Mukki ni ne. Mukki ni ne. Mukki ni ne. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you know, be be positive. Think more mm-hmm. proactively. Think more positively about this situation. And then another one, when I get into a flap, when I'm stressing myself out and I'm panicking a bit mm-hmm. and I'm rushing, <laughs> sometimes people say this next sentence to me. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> is, is don't rush. Mm. Slow down, little at a time. Mm. <laughs> and then a last extra phrase here is, we've heard this in a slightly different way, but this is, well, you, you teach us, Ami-sensei. Hai, negaeba kanao yo. Negaeba kanao yo. So negaeba is, if you wish, kanao yo, it will come true. So those are some really useful phrases that you can use and you'll often hear in Japanese when people are feeling down or they've lost a bit of motivation. But again, like I said before, you hear this in anything from anime to manga to J-pop. You hear it a lot in TV dramas and also just in casual conversation between friends. So definitely learn those. I'll also put those in the show notes so uh, you can learn them. And we'll also add this in the extra audio dialogue file that we release with the main podcast. The secret. The secret file. The secret that everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I thought we could change to our main talking point, which is about how do Japanese people unwind? So I thought what we'd do mm-hmm. is just teach very quickly, mm-hmm. teach a couple of words in Japanese. And then Ami Sensei and I will switch into Japanese mode and have just a quick unscripted conversation in Japanese about how sure. how we like to relax and chill in our uh, spare time and not think about how the world is going absolutely <laughs> insane at the moment. I know, right? So, um, so Ami, Ami Sensei, let, let, let's think of just some like typical ways that Japanese people like to unwind. What's, what's a really typical 
thing that Japanese people like to do to unwind and relax after work? <laughs> okay, this is funny, but uh, the first thing that came to my mind was nomikai. Oh, of, of course. Nomukoto. Nomukoto, ne? So, no, nomikai means like a drinking party, but it just means going out and drinking with your friends. So yeah, just hanging out and getting some drinks. Getting some drinks. So, maybe you go to like an izakaya, which is a Japanese style pub, and you get some drinks. Um, another way I think Japanese people like to unwind, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's karaoke. What do you think? Yeah, karaoke, for sure. This is, you know, well, I'll talk about it maybe more later but karaoke definitely is it, it, you know up there for me an another way for people to unwind in japan is playing sports right mm -hmm. sometimes golf but what's mm -hmm. an what's another way you might want to unwind batting center <laughs> batting center <laughs> so batting cage batting cage <laughs> right yeah so um i hate to admit this i've, I've actually never been to a batting center that speaks about me coming from the UK and not knowing anything about baseball. That's okay. But you've been to Uchipanashi? I've no, never, never. Yeah, mm. never. So, what, what what is Uchipanashi? Uchipanashi is a um, driving range, mm. like a golf driving range. Right. So right. Uh, basically, you just get like a bucket of golf balls, and you mm. just you just hit and hit and hit. Mm. <laughs> Until you're satisfied. So the, the other day I appeared on um, Miku Sensei's uh, mm. uh, YouTube channel. She interviewed me. So Miku Sensei, um, dear listener, if you didn't know, is a Japanese teacher. She she lives down in Kansai and she does these hilarious Instagram videos teaching Japanese. She's amazing. And mm -hmm. recently she did a bunch of uh, Instagram videos of her doing uchipanashi. So she was playing golf with her family. And but yeah, she, basically you have a bucket of golf balls and you just mm -hmm. keep keep doing it. So uh, that reminded me of that. Now <laughs> the next one is uh, I'm often asked by Japanese people, "What do you like about Japan?" Or like, "What brought you to Japan?" Mm -hmm. Like, what mm -hmm. what are the positive things that you like about Japan? And I always answer, "Easy, onsen." Mm, so onsen. onsen is hot springs. Um, mm -hmm. If you have the chance to come to Japan. You cannot visit Japan without going to an onsen. So mm -hmm. onsen is is the very traditional way how Japanese people like to relax and forget work and all the mm -hmm. stresses in their lives. And um, actually, I should mention in our Japanese travel course that you can find at dojo.learnjapanesepod.com, we have a whole lesson on how to use an onsen. So definitely check, mm -hmm. it, check that out. Do you have any... Favorite onsen in Japan, Ami Sensei. Ah, uh, favorite onsen. Mm. Arima onsen. Oh, of course, Arima onsen. Mm -hmm. Arima onsen is a, a hot spring complex in Hyogo Prefecture, which is mm -hmm. right next to Osaka. Arima is wonderful. It's really, really, really nice. I highly recommend yeah. it. And also in the onsen is sauna. Mm -hmm. What is sauna? It's a sauna. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's still pretty popular, I'd say. Mm. Uh, people, and maybe, you know, maybe I'm wrong, but a lot of salary men mm. <laughs> go to sauna oh, to yeah. relax. Yeah, but, do. you know, girls go too. And, sure. um, but girls might go to ganbanyoku more. Mm, what's ganbanyoku? Ganbanyoku is. Um, Basically, it's it's like a sauna, but you're actually laying down or sitting um, on um, basically like, it's kind of like a, I wouldn't say like marble, but it's like a, a just a full, your, the floor is made of stone, mm. I guess. And you just lie there and it's, um, and it's heated. Yeah. So you, it's kind of like, a, I don't know what you call it, like a stone sauna. And it's mm -hmm. you, you rest on towels laid on a slab of heated natural rock, sure. I guess. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it was that was huge like 10 years it ago, was, 10, 10 yeah. 15 years ago. It was mm -hmm. everyone was doing it. Like all, all my uh, girlfriends, mm -hmm. or all my friends who were girls, 
I don't want to give the wrong impression female here. Female friends. All my female friends, thank you. <laughs> uh, it was super, super popular. It's still a thing. You can still do it. But it, I remember it like- It still is, yeah. Yeah, but um, it was huge like 10, 15 years ago. It yeah. was, yeah. yeah. Okay. So so those those are some kind of things. Those are some ways Japanese people like to unwind and relax. But let's let's switch into Nihongo mode. Um, okay, Ami, yes. So Ami-sensei wa stress ga tamatta toki うん、やっぱり、うん、歌うことでこう、あ、一応あります。お、本当え、一応ある。あの、日本、このポッカストを聞いてる人は多分ね、知らないと思うけど、アミ先生はアメリカに住んでます。そうなんです。だからアメリカのカラオケと日本のカラオケはどう違う確か
ストレスを発散するときは何するかなやっぱりハイキングしたり、うん、温泉に入ったりいいね、えー、読書することかなおおちょっとちょっと賢いじゃないですかいやいやつ,つまらない趣味ね<笑>僕<笑>どんなことない,なことないちょっとお,お,お,じあのおじさんの趣味でそんなことないそんなことないあ,でもあ,、うん、あとギターを弾くことねうん、やっぱりあのいい、ね、アミと同じくやっぱり音楽で自分を表現するのが大好きで、ねねうん、やっぱりこう気持ちがハッピーになるあともう一つ言うなら、はい、やっぱり友達とと話すことあもちろんもちろん、うん、そうそうそう大事ですねだから皆さんもあのストレス抱え込まないでそう友達に話したり家族と話したり外にえー、と出てまあ、えー、安全にね安全に,安全にねそうそうそう,そうあの遊ぶなり安全に行動して、えー、ストレス発散しましょう昨日ですね友達と出かけてちょっと一緒に飲みに行ったね、うん、で昨日ですねやっぱり仕事の愚痴ずっと言ってた、うんうんうんうん、でも超愚痴も言わなくちゃいけないそうそうそう愚,愚痴ね、うん、だから皆さん多分この言葉知らないかもしれないけど「愚痴」という言葉はすごい日本,、うん、日,本あ何日本っぽい言葉ですねあの、うん、誰でも知ってると思うので「愚痴」というのは例えばね仕事の悪口悪口じゃないか愚痴愚痴だ、うん、仕事とかに対して嫌なことについてを話し合おうねだから愚痴、うん、愚痴さんそ,それが大好きね、うん、でもね愚痴やりすぎるとへこむ、うん、だから少しだけうんちょっとなら全然少しは大丈夫で、うん、ずっと文句言うとちょっと逆にへこむからね<笑>うん相手の人ももしかしたら疲れるかもしれないけどそう,そうですね、うん、でもねやっぱり友達だったら聞いてくれる友達が大事ねうん大事大事 And now it's time for ba 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 random phrase of the week. Hooray! Yay! Yes,、um, random phrase of the week is, as the title suggests, a random Japanese phrase that we teach you so you can make your Japanese friends laugh and fall off their bar stools. And I hope you enjoy this one. So, what is this week's random phrase, Ami Sensei? Ah, that's a good one. Oh, sorry. Nantoka naru. Nantoka naru. Oh, nantoka naru yo. Demo i k a n a Dotch demo daijobu des. Dotch demo daijobu ne. So, nantoka naru. Well, that's、mm. how do you translate that into English? That's pretty hard. So, nantoka、uh, naru. So, literally means somehow happen, will happen. Right, right. <laughs> so, basically, it, you know, it just means. You know, it'll work out. Yeah, don't, don't worry. You know,、mm-hmm. what will be will be, or things will work out、mm-hmm. for the best.、Don't... Things will work out. Actually, this is quite good because it's actually not so random because it's related to today's、sure. motivational Japanese. So, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> it'll work out. Yeah. It'll all fall in place. I would say that on the one hand, Japanese people tend to be a little risk averse. So I tend to find that Japanese people like to plan things well in advance. They don't like to kind of wing it.、Mm. So, like when you're going out with friends, I think Japanese friends kind of appreciate it more if you've already booked the restaurant or you already have a plan of what you're going to do.、Mm. But sometimes on the other side of that is when life is getting a bit hard and you don't know what's going to happen and you don't have a solution. Don't worry,、うん、it'll work out. Don't worry, yeah. It'll, it'll, you'll be fine. You'll be fine.、Yep. So,、um, do you have any example phrases?、Uh, yes, I have a few.、Uh, mm. What does that mean? <laughs> so,、uh, 今の会社 is、uh, the current job or current company.、うん、やめても quit. なんとかなるよ、うん。It'll be fine.、うん、it'll be okay. So, it'll be okay. 
you really hate your job, but you're kind of scared to quit. Mm -hmm. But your friend is saying, listen, even if you quit your company, it's not going to be the end of the world. It sounds a little irresponsible, right? I know, I know. I was going to say this this is not good advice for everyone in every situation. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if if you didn't quit, but maybe... You know, you were let go, it's still, yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. So if you lose your job, it's totally not、mm-hmm. your fault. And, you know, that happens a lot. Yeah.、Uh, don't worry. I, you know, you, you've been let go from your job, but things will work out. You'll be fine. Yeah.、Well, that's a good one.、Um, what's a more general example sentence you can、uh, make? How about like, So, is Like that, shinpai is worry, shinai, shinai de is don't be or don't do. So don't worry so much. Don't worry like that. Nanto ka naru yo. It'll all work out. Wonderful Learn Japanese pod listeners. If you were stressed about learning Japanese or you felt overwhelmed or you, you weren't sure how to improve, don't worry. Sonna shinpai shinai de. なんとかなるよ、うん。Don't worry, it'll work out. You'll, you'll get it. You'll get it. 大丈夫。We're here for you, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my. Ami sensei, thank you so much. As always, you're always teaching us amazing, interesting、yeah. Japanese. どういたしまして。ありがとうございます。Dear listener, if you enjoy this podcast, And you want to support us, I do have a request. Please tell your friends about the podcast. If you have a friend who is interested in learning Japanese, tell them about it. You can tweet, post on Facebook or Instagram, or I don't know, do a silly dance on TikTok telling your friends all about Learn Japanese Pod. And please feel free to post the main link of each show to your friends. And you can find everything at learnjapanesepod.com. That's where we are on the interwebs. And also, if you're into studying Japanese in a bit more of a focused way, we have online courses. You can learn hiragana. We've got a five day Japanese challenge. So it's a completely free course. And we also have our premium travel Japanese course. So, so for those of you who are hoping to travel to Japan, hopefully the travel restrictions are going to be lifted soon.、Yeah. If you're planning a trip to Japan, definitely check out that course. That's the travel Japanese course. And that's at dojo.learnjapanesepod.com. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, email us at Info at learnjapanesepod.com. We love getting your questions and we shall see you soon. So, Mine san, Gambate kudasai. Gambate ne. Bye.